from Indie Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Casey. Here's a look at your top stories on this Tuesday. The family of a Hoosier who was killed in the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor has finally learned that his remains have been accounted for. The military says they first accounted for the remains of George Gilbert almost two years ago, but Gilbert's family was only recently given a full briefing on his ID. The native of Indianapolis was 20 years old, serving in the Navy when he was killed on the battleship, the USS Oklahoma. His remains will be buried at Punchbowl National Cemetery in Honolulu on June 6th. Walmart says it's keeping its word to find work for employees displaced by the recent fire at their Plainfield Fulfillment Center. Walmart kicked off a three-day job fair event for those employees today. The company has promised to find work for the 1,000 employees who were at the facility when it caught fire back on March 16th. This is an opportunity to connect them with uh, roles that they may never have looked into before. It's a chance for them to bring their career down a whole new path, learn new skills, and also, um, you know, even go into other roles um, in different types of facilities with Walmart. The job there continues through this Thursday. Again, this is only for employees of Walmart's Plainfield Fulfillment Center. Let's get a check of our forecast right now with Todd Glosson. Hey, Todd. All right, Lauren, a pretty quiet day of weather for us. Just not the brightest day. Lots of clouds around temperatures in the 40s all across uh, the area. And as we go into the evening hours, there could be a sprinkler or two as some warmer air starts to work its way into the area. So the good news is it's going to be warmer tomorrow morning than when you go to bed tonight as the southerly winds kick in. Takes our temperatures all the way up into the 70s tomorrow, but with some gusty winds. We're looking at gusts that could be anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour. And then tomorrow evening after 5 p.m., the cold front comes through. And with it, there will be the chance of some severe storms. All right, Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.